This channel contains mature subject matter, so if you're not 19 years or older, don't watch this channel. With that being said, let's get into it. What's up everybody? So the time has come to put the tobacco plants outside. I'll be transplanting into 15 liter pots. And if you haven't seen my super soil video, make sure you watch that so you know my exact soil mix. If you've been following my tobacco grow this year, you know that I'm now doing an experiment. I'm testing two years, two batches of seeds. I started an early batch of tobacco this year and they ended up staying in their three inch pots a little too long and they ended up going into flower. So this batch of tobacco, what I've done is I've transplanted it much earlier. And like I said, I have seeds from two different years just to make sure there isn't a genetic issue with the seeds from last year. As you can see, this plant is not root bound in this pot at all. So I'm definitely transplanting nice and early. I basically dig a little hole, put it in, cover it up and pat it down. Very simple. Once I'm transplanted, I water my plants in and I like to use water pH between 6.0 to 6.5. And there they are in the pots where they'll live out the rest of their life. The area that I live has a ton of rain and usually I wait till the end of April to put my plants out but this year I decided to put them out a little bit early and that may have been a mistake. I have two oscillating fans and one upper extraction fan powered by one power cord and it somehow got turned off for about two days during a spell of really heavy rain. When we get heavy rain like that the relative humidity inside the tent rises above 100. At that point, the air can no longer hold on to the moisture and it starts depositing it on leaves and surfaces like the tent walls and ceiling, which ends up causing rain within the tent. This humid and stagnant environment creates the perfect conditions for funguses and mold, which is what I think happened here. When I first discovered this, all the brown spots were actually dark green, very soft decomposing tissue. And this is what the plants look like now that they're recovering a few days later. You could tell it just mainly affected the smallest lower leaves of all the plants and the big leaves look pretty good. What I did to fix this was I burnt elemental sulfur. When you burn sulfur, it creates a vapor which deposits on all the surfaces in the tent and on the plants and that vapor raises the pH of the surfaces which makes it a bad environment for the mold to grow. Lower leaves don't get very big anyways and I was planning on removing them once the upper leaves got a little bit bigger. Of the first batch of tobacco I only saved two of the best plants and now they're getting a little bit bigger and it's time to start thinking about removing sucker leaves and flower clusters. Sucker leaves are the leaves growing above the main tobacco leaves off of the stem. These leaves suck the energy from the tobacco leaves that we're trying to produce. And if you leave the sucker leaves on, the tobacco leaves will grow maybe half the size. They very easily just snap off by bending them to the side. Sucker leaves and flower clusters are all going to continue growing back. So removing them is going to be something that we continuously do all summer until harvest. This is an example of a very small and young flower cluster, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove it anyways. I try to remove the flower cluster without removing any of the leaves but because this is such a small cluster, I end up taking the top couple.
plants aren't usually quite this small when they go into flower, but this plant looks real happy and healthy, so I'm hoping that if I continuously pick off all the flower clusters and sucker leaves, that I'll end up having a good harvest off of these two plants still. When growing thousand year tobacco, it doesn't like too much sun or heat. So if you have it in an area that's partially shaded, it's probably gonna do just fine. Here's the plants side by side, one of them with all the suckers removed and one of them untouched. With that, the tobacco is all transplanted in their final pots outdoors. It's been a little bit of a rough start this year, but I think they look pretty good and I'm real excited. Thanks for watching the video right to the end. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, question. We'll see you guys next time.